Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Roll Style, and today we're going to be talking about how to protect your clothing from moth damage. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this video, you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would click on the like button right down there below. And finally, if you want to learn more about what I'm talking about here, then go ahead and click on the uh, article, which we link to right over here, and it will expand on what I'm talking about in this video. Okay, protecting your clothing, particularly wool clothing, from moth damage. And so it's getting cold here in Wisconsin, and I started pulling out my sweaters. And I've got a really a good collection of wool sweaters, some wool cashmere blends, just some really nice sweaters. And ah, oh, one of my sweaters had moth damage. And so that's what prompted this video. And it just, you know, it's like, it is frustrating because I took a lot of steps, but there's, there were some that I looked at where this was stored and basically I, this one was not sealed properly. And I, I don't think that I had enough protectant in there. And what I was using a herb protectant, I probably needed to use more of it. But let me go ahead and talk about the steps that you can take to prevent what happened to me. And I'll also touch briefly on how I'm going to fix this small bit of damage that happened. Lucky it was just a very small amount. Okay. Before you put an item in the storage, and this usually happens in the springtime near uh, at the end of winter, you need to make sure it's cleaned properly. And you can do this yourself by using uh, something like Woolite, although that's not necessarily going to kill any eggs, but it will do a, a good job of removing a, a lot of uh, debris and preventing other bits of damage on there. But you, if you've had problems in the past, you want to possibly take your clothing to a professional and they'll use a chemical treatment. Let them know that this is why you want to have it cleaned and they'll run chemicals over it, which will kill and destroy a lot of the eggs and any, well, you would see if there's any larvae there, but basically you want to kill any eggs that have been laid because when it comes down to it, moths aren't the things destroying it. It's the larvae which hatch out of the eggs, which are going to eat the hair, which is what will, whether it's from a goat, whether it's from a rabbit, whether it's from a sheep, they are going to eat that hair and that's what you want to prevent. So if you've had problems in the past or if you live in a 110 year old Victorian house like I do in an area which is known for moths, you want to take your clothing to a professional, have it cleaned. I didn't do it with this sweater in particular, I know. Okay. So once you have it cleaned, then you want to immediately store it and you want to store it in a container which is a sealed container. So that was my big mistake is I put it in a, I left it in a top drawer. I didn't seal it up in a plastic container. And I thought that, okay, I'm going to put the herbs around this thing. It'll be fine. Well, herbs, mothballs, um, cedar, those things don't necessarily, well, mothballs perhaps, they've actually got some very strong chemicals in them. But most of the other ones I mentioned there, they do not kill um, the, the eggs or, or the larvae. They kind of ward it away, especially the natural ones. It's not to, but, but the way that the, the mothballs do actually kill uh, any larvae or any moths is that you have to make sure the container is sealed and it basically forms w within the air there. It makes it so it's toxic and it's going to kill anything that hatches out of those eggs or anything that's alive and, and gets put in there. So that's the big thing is you want to keep it sealed. Next, all these things I'm talking about, you really three big options out there. Number one, probably cedar. And if you have a cedar closet, that's great. Most people don't. So you can get cedar balls, you can get cedar uh, sticks. Uh, but the problem with that is you've got to actually sand it and refresh it because eventually it'll lose its the natural uh, scent it gives off. Now, there are herbs out there that you can, and people I hear making their own, now, these are nice because mothballs are, well, they have cancer. It have been shown some of the things in there to cause cancer, so you don't necessarily want that. And uh, But the problem with the herbs is they're not nearly as strong, of course. They're not going to kill things as, as much. And you really need to make sure you have that good seal. I used the herbs and I didn't have a good seal and I think that's what did it for me. Uh, now, if you're going to use mothballs and you maybe got a bad problem and you're going to put this stuff away outside of, you know, not in your bedroom, you're going to put this in a storage unit then perhaps mothballs, it, it's a good solution for you. And again, make sure it's sealed, use the mothballs, and those things are going to kill just about anything. So <laughs> finally, if you're going to be storing it in a place where you can inspect occasionally, 
and you want to do this quickly, but you want to be looking for any damage. So lucky for me, I was able to see that, okay, it's a very small hole because once the hole, it, it's if it's bigger than half an inch or even, you know, once it gets bigger than half an inch in circumference, it's going to be very, very difficult to fix. Now, I'm going to be able to have mine rewoven because it's a very small hole. Actually, there were a few other holes and that's how I knew it was moth damage. But you know, and if you just see one hole, it may actually be you got it you got it torn or snagged. Look for that. But if you see multiple little holes kind of all over the place, you can be rest assured that yes, that was moth damage. So hopefully you found this video useful. And if you did, please like it. And uh, if you want to learn more about men's style, make sure to visit us over at Real Men Real Style. Take care. This has been Antonio Centeno. Bye bye.